This morning, not too bad, just a few showers here and there. You'll notice a little bit of rain on the radar here near Oakland Park, Lauder Hill, everything moving from east to west as we do have that onshore breeze with us today. It's about 6 to 12 miles an hour already. Hey, there's a live view from our Biscayne Bay camera. We're seeing a mix of sun and clouds and a pretty sunrise here, courtesy of our Key West camera. Thanks to our weather watcher, Mike Sanford, sending in this view of the clouds in Fort Lauderdale, mix of sun and clouds in Aventura, courtesy of Marsha Axelrod and Sandra also sharing this sunrise from Lauderdale by the sea. Keep the umbrella close today as scattered storms will be around. Highs in the low 90s, it'll feel like the hundreds. Make sure you're staying hydrated too, boaters. No advisories. Winds east 10 to 50, not sea 2 to 3. Light chop on the base tonight. Scattered storms, warm and humid, 80 degrees. I want to take some time to take you through what some of our computer models are forecasting our future radar. So throughout the day today, the rain chance isn't extremely high. and Most of the storms this afternoon will start to push inland into the west coast as we get into the afternoon, though there's still the potential for some spotty storms. And then notice how as we head into tonight, it looks like we'll see more widespread coverage overnight. And into tomorrow, as we pay attention here into your Friday, well, there could be some heavy downpours across parts of the Keys late morning into the middle of the day and starting to see some some of those downpours possible for Miami Dade and Broward into the afternoon. As we get into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, we'll start to see more of that moisture and the potential for rain bands. Look at the heavier rain bands expected here as we get into overnight Saturday and through Saturday morning, through Saturday throughout the days when the worst of the weather is expected. So late tomorrow into Saturday is the time frame when we're going to see Fred make its closest approach and possibly move across the Keys, the center of it anyway. So it could be a very wet and windy weekend and care about the chance of some isolated tornadoes too.